Okay, back into Ten Nights of Killing a Mayhem at FJB. Game number one. I gotta readjust the window size in one second. Let me just, uh, oh, fuck. There we go. Let me adjust this a shade. My god, that's loud in my ears. There we go. Um, alright, we're good to go. Yes, indeed, Jams. Let's go. Jams is generally stood for, um,. I've mentioned I, I, the original board game and then some of, some elements of the later board games and eventually the final version of the board or the uh, computer games were made by my a myself Jeff Sinisak and b my friend Jeff Schiller. So in jams, if you wonder what that is about, um, the J and the S stand for Jeff in both cases and and Sinisak slash Schiller in either case. My middle name is Alan. His middle name is Michael. So there you get jams. Jeffrey Allen Michael Sinisak slash Schiller. Um, as to Little Devils Incorporated, P.S. We were never incorporated. I just liked the name. We were not an. We were not a corporation. The actual name of the company was Little Devils Incorporated, even though it was never a company in any realistic sense of that word. Let's continue a campaign. Here we go. Um, I don't. I, I don't know how much, if any, uh, again overlap there is between people watching this video versus people watching other videos. But I just finished five minutes ago. Recording the uh, re recording the Hellband video episode six. In case you're wondering what happened, I did figure it out. Um, I tried to I, I was blinded. I tried to back up past my servant demon because I was blinded. It didn't count as trying to push past him. I guess it counted as me trying to stab him and angered him and he killed me. So that's basically what happened. It seems kind of bullshit to me because you know you can always push past them under normal circumstances. But I guess when you're blind, you lack that ability. Let's um, let's double check where we're headed here. I wasn't really paying attention. The womb room, I know where that is. Religion office. I think George F is going to be our our biggest threat. Let's save her for last, if at all. So let's take a look and see where these things are. Uh, v. Well, George F might be another one you want to handle with missile weapons, if possible. So Kloss is back in here. We can handle her. George F is somewhere right over here in the off the main hall. She's gonna see us. I think she's slow, if I remember correctly. But um still a problem. Solette is in the womb room, which is over here. Might be wise to save him till well, no, we can probably deal with him. Um what else do we have? Sergeant and Sergeant and Ferroni. Sergeant uh, I, did I absorb that? No, not in any way did I absorb that. One oh four and 29. So 29 is up in the English wing, so Sergeant's in this room here. I'm, am I putting the right thing? Yeah, I am. And, um, hopefully you can see my mouse. I don't know why you couldn't before. Now I think about I see why you couldn't before. I got it. And, um, this is where, yeah, religion office somewhere over here is George F. This is where Ferroni is. There's too much happening in this main hall. We should avoid this main hall altogether, as a matter of fact. Let's try and get Solette dug up here. Before Sergeant comes around, we'll have to deal with him too. We'll probably deal with some, some um, janitor juggernauts over here. Once this stuff over here is taken care of, we'll worry about what's over here. This is too deadly right now. So I shouldn't have even brought Amiot in there. Let's wait. Let's wait his turn. For Duke, let's run him to the west this way. Let me turn this down on my ears because holy jumping jack, Jesus, that is loud. All right, that's better. Where are you guys at? Scene. All right, lie. Let's see if you can get the uh, phone now. Uh, the problem with McConnell, if he comes in here, he's likely to get seen by sergeant. So let's run him around the outside. You're going to go this way. Keep him outside for now, too. And you, right beside, lie. Obviously, the next turn, nothing spotted us. That I can tell. Lie. Doesn't see anything in this hallway. It sucks that she has this low movement. She can't clear the hallway in this turn. But at least McConnell's getting some good moves. There's probably Celette. Yeah, there's Celette right there. Again, to the best of my knowledge, his ability is he can um, sing, which pacifies us, and um, means we can't uh, 
you know, while, while we're pacified, we won't be able to attack. I could be wrong. He might have had a different ability back then if I didn't know how to do that at the time or something. That's what his ability is nowadays. Not the best position to fight him in. He obviously has a substandard punch as well. Here comes the janitor, damn it. All right. Um, I think we'll probably leave Willette there to deal with the janitor. Bring in um, Schiller to help him out as well. Shit. There's George F. She might see us. Oh, she's going to see us. There's no way around it. Can't even get can't get Lie out of there if I wanted to. Man, you got three sixes in a row, dude. Good on you. Damn it. Oh, did we not get Schiller a weapon yet? Damn it. I thought we did. I guess there's still one person without a weapon. Like without a, without, a, without a quality weapon, you know? Soothing song to Sinisak. So as far as I know, uh, Sinisak cannot fight at the moment. Good stuff. So we might as well run Sinusac to grabbing a little bit of a drink to get back, if, he, if he's lost any health. If not, we'll run him over to help with the Janitrix. By the time he gets there, it'll probably be time to fight. Yeah, you feel too peaceful. You can't do it. I guess it, in this again in this version of the game it doesn't give you any kind of clue as to how long you're going to last like that. In later versions it does. Eventually it does. Let's wait on Doke. Get everybody behind him that we can. No idea if I can swing yet. Let's find out. Nope, can't. <laughs> Might as well stand here and, well, no, uh, well, that's a little harder to hit, so I guess it makes more sense to leave him to take the brunt of the blows. Doke, we're going to run you around. At least we know definitively the um, janitors have not been upgraded yet, because we did hit it with Willette, and you can't hit them at all once they get the next upgrade. So it must be the next night that that happens. Oops, I did that wrong. So it's best to put him, I guess, all the way to one side, or else he's going to end up facing to the right, and then we can't get behind him. Or he can end up facing to the right. This way we're going to force him to face either up or down. Probably. Still too peaceful. Uh-oh. Who's number two? That's number two. Who's number one? Ah, Sergeant, damn it. Alright, well, Sinusac's doing nothing of value. Let's use Sinusac to divert Sergeant. If we can. I'm going to have to run Sinusac past Sergeant to drag him to the west. Because if I run through a door, Sergeant, if, if he's over in this hallway, he's going to see these guys and come down and get them. I guess Lai can't move, so he might as well just leave her there. Doesn't have enough movement points. Keep punching, man. Just don't sing. Sergeant blends with his surroundings, so I can't even tell where he is. I think he's literally invisible at this point. Nevertheless, let's stick with our plan to use Cinesac as a distraction. May not be able to fight. He's too pacifistic at the moment for that, but, um, Jesus. But, he can still run. There's that. Can't believe I forgot to get a shiller weapon. 
I'll, I'll double check. Maybe he has something I just haven't equipped. Can't remember. Janitor punches a Doke, or well, it looks like Doke got sung a soothing song too. Where's uh, there's George F. and Ferroni. Damn it, George F. We could deal with. Uh, she's slow, but Ferroni's gonna be chucking bombs at us. We're gonna have to use Amy out as a distraction again. Doke, you can do nothing of value yet, so let's bring you here and check the phone. Let's try and see if you can attack. Nope. Use nothing in the change slot. She can't make it, so she'll stay there. How are we doing on Celette? Celette is a 64 out of 110. Let's wait on him. Schiller will come down and attack the janitor from behind over here. I forgot to check and see if he had a better weapon. I don't see. I don't know where. Not knowing where Sergeant is, I can't tell if I'm really leading him away or if he's gone for, for McConnell now. I'm just gonna stand. Maybe I'll even go back where I was, or even to here. Just so make sure yet. I need. I need to have him attack me so I can confirm that he's attacked me so I can run. Because if he goes for McConnell, then it means he's dragged over to that hallway, and I'm not gonna be able to lure him away. So it punches a doke, hits for four. Sergeant punches a McConnell. God damn it. Alright, I'll go engage him. Jesus. Alright, you. <laughs> We're running into problems, guys. Oh, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Damn it. This is not the way I meant to go. I meant to go through this door. Damn it. I'm assuming you can't attack yet? No. Oh, he has a baseball bat. I can't believe I forgot you, Scheller. I'm sorry, man. Good hit, though. A hit. A palpable hit. He must be, what, to the north? Yeah, there he is to the north. Let me turn to see if I can fight him. No targets in range. We, can, we literally can't fight him right now. Let's leave him here for a minute so he has a target to attack to the front, not my back. And then we'll start running him away. Ferroni threw a tennis ball at Amiot. Hits for six points of damage, and I took an eight additional points of damage from the explosion. Interesting, you see the sort of scar that was left by the explosion of that um, thing, but the landmine didn't leave such a scar. Running through here now is not going to serve us, because, well, maybe it will. Let's try it. Let's run up and through. Yeah, if we can get through here. Let's leave him here for a minute. Her, we want to run around behind and attack Solette from behind. Solette was another very lovely man. I very much uh, liked that guy. He was uh, he was my singing teacher. He also directed me in a production of a production called "With a Little Help from My Friends," which was a bastardization of "You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown," but we replaced all the music with Beatles tunes. Probably to get around paying for the rights is my guess, but whatever, it was fun. I played Snoopy in that way back in the day. Let's bring him, like, three steps this way. Turn this way to make sure he comes for me. He sang a soothing song to McConnell. All right, we gotta get as soon as that kind of out of here now. If we can get everybody else out of line of sight. He and... Oh, I forgot I had a chainsaw. That's loud. Nice. He unfortunately, um, he passed away uh, uh, recently, like in the last three, four years of uh, cancer, that gentleman. The gentleman I'm actively engaged with at the moment in the hallway here. Lies left alone dealing with this guy. I don't remember if um, Celette causes like a, um, like if you have to do like an attitude check or anything to avoid his effects, or if it's just you automatically get hurt. Well, that is almost dead. So let's bring him to here. 
Fountain's poisoned. He took one point of damage. Damn it. Our people are too split up here, guys. We're we're definitely in danger. Let's turn to the right so he doesn't get behind me. Slut punches live for five. Sergeant seems to materialize. Which at least means I can drag him away. I'm not going to engage him right now. At least we know where he is. If he comes towards me, I can keep running. It doesn't seem to give you any sort of indication of when you're allowed to attack. So unless we get close to somebody to say, hey, I'm going to try to attack, um, we have no clue that we can't attack, you know, right now. Um, there's no point in continuing to drink from this fountain. So let's bring him down and join the fray again. Janitor's dead. That's good. All right, we can get everybody else back down to deal with Select now. There goes Sergeant. He ran a little bit and then blended with the surroundings, but at least we know he's chasing Cinesex. So as long as we don't put anybody in his line of sight that's closer, we should be able to give him the slip, you know? Um, we do have to go in this hallway, though. Can we get around without being seen? Let's find out. Good hit. Let's try. No, not yet. Let's leave him there and let him take some damage. So Lai doesn't take it all. I don't know if Sergeant can see us from here. Probably not, but maybe. Hopefully not. He still have a line of sight to um, Sinusak in any event. As long as I don't run away. Let's just face him. Damn it. I wasted, uh, wasted everyone's turns here. Can't use his fountain, obviously. I'm going to write that down on my little thing here. Near Fizz Ed is poisoned as well now for the rest of the game. Let's hold off on Amy. Let's hold off on Duke. Let's hold off on Lai, even. Too peaceful. Let's leave him alone. Just because I don't know who else is going to be able to come down here and, you know, like he wouldn't have been able to get in the fight if I brought her behind, although he didn't really get in the fight anyway, did he? He just ran up to him. Got a fast guy trapped behind a slow guy. Alright, she got sung a soothing sign to uh, There's Sergeant, he's found me. At least we know where he is. Let's hold off here for a minute. Wait. So she can't do anything anymore of value. I can't bring her down to that hall to the south, because if I try, she's gonna attract the attention of George F slash whoever else is you know still down there in the hall. Um hold off on him. Hold off on him. Wait. I got enough Ferroni's gotten to where Amy out let him yet either. Probably yeah he's probably in the north gym somewhere wandering around looking for me. Alright, so uh McConnell can fight again. Ooh, good hit, McConnell. I guess it could have stayed there because we couldn't uh, couldn't get behind him from this angle. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Slip punches at McConnell. Should have gone one further, but whatever. It's silly now. Wait. 
wait. All right. Oh, she can go again. Must be a random amount of time, like maybe for one to six turns you can't fight, is my guess. Been a long time, I don't know. All right, Celeste's dead. So we're ready to get people here. Oh, geez, here comes the other janitor. Um, let's head out there. Hmm. Not in that English hallway, because we don't want to um, attract Sergeant this way. We want him to chase Sinisak where he was chasing him. Wait. We need to get him to a fountain. Or even to the food. Let's go to the food instead for now. We're going to try and run him right past the uh, janitor. To lure the janitor over into this little sort of um, adjunct whoops, parking lot. Damn it. I fucked that up. See? Fucked it up. I don't know if Sergeant's chasing me here or not. I guess I can turn him passing and fight. Ah, I shouldn't have. All right, so it's like lure him away. Don't don't fight him there. That's just bad ideas. Whoops! I did that. The press. I was trying to press W and I missed. Press the two key. The fear, of course, when you're in here, is like if if. Randomly, a teacher came through that door to the north. Now I'd be trapped. There'd be no way to get me out of here, short of killing that teacher. So it could be the death of a student. You can get trapped in an area like that. I was hoping he wouldn't have enough movement points to reach me, but it didn't matter. He didn't get me. Oops, I didn't mean to press. I pressed the wrong key for her. All right, we can fight him here. Good enough. It's possible that Sergeant was chasing Sinisak and will eventually round this corner, and he will not rematerialize when he doesn't have a line of sight to somebody. But um, if so, we'll fight him out here. It'd be a good, convenient place to fight him as well, assuming we can take him down. He does have a high defense, but it shouldn't be like impossibly high or anything. Get out of the way. I guess that was dumb of me. That was really dumb of me. Now I I can't come down to... I guess you can run all the way around if you can. One, two, three, six, seven. To get behind him. I guess you're done.
Son of a bitch. My con all. You're staying there, Recon, or Amy out rather. <clears throat> Who? Oh, I thought that was. Uh, I thought that was Lie. Who did I just do? Doke. At least get out of the way. Should have turned into the north in case something comes through that door to my right, but I don't think anything will. I don't think there's any teachers left in that vicinity to, to end up coming that way, unless they took a really weird random walk around. We've already dealt with the other janitor, so we should be safe in that regard. Nice hit. We're not getting any more um, stuns, of course, because we don't have any more of those bicycle chains. We could invest in a cattle prod, which does the same, like a bicycle chain, but stuns a lot more often. But for now, I, we probably won't. I could get one of those for shillers to mix things up and try out all the melee weapons on offer in this game. That might be kind of neat. Maybe I even will. I do have to get him a damn melee weapon of some sort. By the time you get here, it's all going to be done, McConnell. So we're left with we're left with Sergeant somewhere to the west slash northwest. We're left with Ferroni and George F. Possibly both in the North Gym, and we're left with a with a phone that somebody should check in the main hallway, uh, but not yet. We also need to get everybody healed. Um, but you know where is a good question. Oh, he sees somebody in here. Oh, I forgot about Kloss, damn it. All right, well, we're bringing Kloss out. Uh, she'll probably be out here to join us in a second. Let's back people away from this door a little bit. I should have um, I should have put lie you know somewhere in the front line too we want we want somebody with the highest defense right let's hold off on lie let's get him close because he takes forever to get anywhere lie and Willette. let so let's back off Schiller we want the, the first person he attacks to be lie or Willette, or she attacks rather because they're the least likely to get hit Let's hope uh, Sergeant doesn't show up now. She doesn't show up in a few turns. We'll go check on her. There she is. All right. All right, Amy. Get behind her. 
with that chainsaw. Nice hit. She doesn't have any abilities other than I think she has a decent to hit and um, and does three dice damage, which is admittedly the best we can do with their, with their chainsaw. So it's like being hit with a chainsaw, but um, I don't think she has any other specific abilities. I didn't do this right. Not a big deal. I guess I can do this. Which way is she facing? Right. I, I was mistaking. I was mistaking the. Um, I was mistaking these three claws, for her. Uh, an arrow pointing right. No, she's pointing down. Okay, got it. Which means everybody can stay put. Keep an eye on people's health, mind you. I'm not really paying attention. This could be, uh, we could be in a bad situation if I've not really been paying enough attention. <laughs> Alright, we got her. Now we're in the same boat. Now we've got the two people in, um, allegedly the North Gym and Sergeant somewhere to the west. He, he might be outside. We could bring somebody up to sort of attract his attention. He might also still be tangled up somewhere in the rooms over there if he lost me and is searching the rooms. So um, let's for now disperse and try and get healed if we can. Let's run Doke. One, two, five, six. He'll try here. Connell can't afford to run that far. He's not going to get back into the fray if we don't get him like somewhere near where he's got to be. So let's bring him over here. And then again, if he gets ambushed alone, he's going to be dead. So he won't be able to run at all. Let's just, we'll send McConnell to where Doke is. By the time he gets there, Doke will be done drinking. That way he's not going, you know, somewhere dangerous, but he's not going too far in the wrong direction. What do we have here? Upstairs. Upstairs north. The nor most northern one is poisoned. We don't know about these ones. There's probably a fountain in here. Yeah, there is.
So maybe have him try and check the uh, phone in the main hall. Slash, check and see if anybody's wandering around out there. Somebody is. It was George F. She'd gone into the resource center here. So she's, uh, we're right here. She's right here somewhere, right? Right here. And that's the phone I wanted to check. But I can lure her away, so at least we don't have to deal with her and Ferroni at the same time. I'll lead her around here, maybe outside, and try and ditch her outside, because I don't know if we want to fight her at all This, this uh, with these missile we these weapons. If we do, we'll do her last as sort of a test case to see like how, how dangerous is she. And if she's too dangerous, we'll just run away from her. Wait for Oni when we're done here. We can't linger here too long, because we will lure her into the, um, the sight of these characters. Alternatively, I could put her in the south gym, right? I'll do that. Alright, he's fine. So the northernmost one we know is poisoned. I was sending him in to get that drink uh, from that fountain, so we had to wait till McConnell clears out of there, because he's blocking the way again. Fuck, there's George F. She saw me. Alright, um, that means we have to use Cinesac to distract her. Get everybody else out of the way so she doesn't see us when he does. Good, there she is. She'll see me go out. Let's just wait right here. Whoops, I didn't mean to go in here. Wait right here. comes. She's outside, right? I think she got all the way outside, which means we can bring her back in to keep drinking. Oh, I didn't mean to press 5, I meant to press U. Oh well, we'll live and learn. He can go back out as well and keep drinking. Five. You know what, let's get, uh, Let's get Doke back in there to check that phone again as well. We haven't done that yet.
pardon me. Good, we're not seeing Froni in the hall. Stevie him to the west a bit to get a bit of water. Now he's fully healed. He's fully healed. No, he's not. Damn it. He's got one more to go. The flying ointment, of course, will be if George F. does around that corner and comes in the uh, door and sees us all. So we got to be a little bit... Like, I want to get in the north gym faster than, than later. Sooner than later. But at the same time... All right, we're going maybe next turn. Damn it, I did that wrong. You're close enough. Let's get you down here. Again, we don't have time to wait. Can't risk George F. coming in and spoiling our fun. We'll go quite in yet, because nobody else is here yet. But, um... Oh, I passed my turn again. I'm at press 6. <laughs> Damn it. Well, that's, that's the place we're going, isn't it? I don't see him yet. Screw it, let's get in there. I don't see him. He wouldn't be in this half, though, probably. I don't see him in here at all. Alright, we thought he went in here. He is not here. Did he join George F. in searching the resource center? Is he down below? We don't know where he is. Last we saw, he was coming in that door, right? That's where we let him, as I recall. Hmm. Here. Shit, let's look in the resource center. Not here. Not in the south gym here. Where the fuck is he, guys? Attendance office. If we run into um, Sergeant, we'll also deal with him. Should we run into first, right? Son of a bitch. I hate it when we lose them like this when you just have no idea where they are. You in, sorry. There's a courtyard in the center of the school. Off the cafeteria. He's not here. He's probably in the English wing somewhere. I mean, who knows? Shit. campus ministry. Oh, 
Let's look at. Oh, shit. Ouch. And we know what we're doing with him. Let's try and get him healed. At least it's one less to worry about later, right? One less landmine to run into later. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. All these unlabeled um, rooms, by the way, are places that the janitors can start. They're like closets and shit. At least some of them are. Janitors always start randomly in some of the unlabeled rooms. I doubt he's in here, but we're here. Vice Principal's Office, no. Principal's Office, no. That's where the Dark Queen will eventually be starting. Ugh. Oh, we need to get him back in anyway. There she is. All right, let's let's try and deal with her if we can. We'll see. We'll see how bad it is. If it's bad, bad, we'll fucking run. She punches it, will let. Tears drown, will let for seven points. I think we're all going to take damage every turn we're around her, which is going to be f absolutely deadly. Let's try and take her down as fast as we can. Especially because Ferroni could emerge at any time and chuck a bomb at us and, like, do tons of damage to all of us. Everybody's taking massive damage. I don't know how long we can do this. Let's see how she is. George F. She only has 76 left. We might be able to take her down first, or else we have to scatter, and like when, we, when people get low, they have to run. That's all there is to it. So she's down to 63. Sixty-one. All right, uh, fifty-one, uh, forty-five. Missed. There's a lot of damage to those tiers, too. Amy out's still good to go. That'd be like 32. 28. She's still okay. Uh, 23. By the time he gets there, it's going to be done, so let's get him healed. I shouldn't have kept him around, but I did. 16. I should have turned his back to the wall, maybe. It depends on where Froney is. Oops. Alright, down to 12. Alright, soon as I gotta go heal. Down to about four, I think. Let's find out if we're right. If we kept accurate track. Yep. Son of a bitch. She's so close. Let's finish her. Come on. You've got her, Schiller. All right. Cinesac, I would love to do it. Do we dare? Oh, no.
Looks like 18 is the maximum. Alright, so it's like, you've got to go. <laughs> Alright, she's dead. In case you're wondering, those bounties are not based on, like, the teacher. It's, it used to be a random card. You draw the teacher, and then you draw a bounty card to find out how much they're worth. It was totally random. There are a few teachers who get a multiplier. The vice principals and the principal. Alright, we need to get you back to health. Let's go uh, back to the, the hallway where we know to heal. Best place we know to heal. You stay there. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Let's wait on him. Did we kill Sergeant yet? I don't think we did, did we? Whatever happened to him? Is he still wandering around? Did we? No, he's still wandering outside. So we have Sergeant and Ferroni to worry about. And Sergeant is more than likely currently invisible. And unhittable. When he's invisible, you're not allowed to attack him either. him being left here all alone, but what are you going to do? We need to heal. be done in a minute. You can take over then. Wait. Alright, he's fully healed. Let's get him back over to where Sinusak is so Sinusak has some defense while he heals. Uh, did I already know that? I already knew that. I wrote it down and everything. I'm an idiot. Doke will be done in a second. Let's just leave uh, Amy out down here. By the time he gets up to the other place, Doke will be leaving anyway.
There, dog's fine. We s I'm not sure if somebody saw Ferroni, but it was just flashing by his name because it was his turn, you know? waited so it was his turn he finished that last turn then it was the next turn he's first now she's fine he's fine he's got a long way to go we've got enough people healed now that it might be worthwhile keeping some people in the, like the junctures of hallways in case teachers wander in we can get a uh, feel for where they are, you know? Put him right here. That way, if anything comes in the North Hall, we'll know it. Not the North Hall, whatever that hall is. Said, let's not send them too close to each other because if Ferroni whips a bomb at them, they want them all getting hit. Let's leave her right here. We'll point him here. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I guess we're going outside. See if, uh. Let's see if. Sergeant's out here and spots me. Somebody out here. Can't quite tell where they are. Who am I seeing? Do I have the caps lock on? There we go. Here's Ferroni. So Ferroni's up here to the north. Let's get her kind of out of view. I don't know. And let's keep them healing. Amy out and we'll let we'll keep healing. Everybody else will get out there to help. Even you, you're close enough. And there's sergeants as well, darn it. Freddy does have a limited range on his bombs, it's not like he can throw them forever. You know what, let's get her down. Let him... Ugh, how am I going to do this? Throws a basketball at me. Boom. Ferroni also took damage because he was caught within the blast radius. It looks like he had a big blast radius. You see that? Let's get on him right now. So there's Sergeant to my left. Nonetheless, let's go deal with Ferroni right away as best we can. As you can see, massive sight lines open up in that section now. We can't hide over there ever again. It'll always be open to the view of passing teachers. Once you're in close, Froney may stop throwing bombs, because obviously he can hurt himself. So he might be resorting to a punch at this point. Not sure. So 
Sergeant Blended. Hold off on him. I want to see what you can get to do do to get people around him. He's not going anywhere. I guess that answers that as far as he can get. Sergeant over by portable A. It's good when he materializes, he stops moving. It costs him the rest of his move, so at least he didn't close more ground with us. Let's hold off on her for a second. He can't go anywhere. Can't go anywhere, darn it. Hold off. Keep going. And keep going. Hmm. How are we doing on this dude? I want to make sure we have enough left over to just immediately jump on to fighting uh, Sergeant if possible. At least they don't do too much damage. Looks like Sergeant does two dice maybe with his uh, punch. Nice. Oh, he won't last long. We should be okay. Gotta be in close. Nineteen, man, we've almost got him. Let's go with um people who are behind him first. No, let's go with McConnell first. He's not going anywhere. Alright, so seven points left. Let's try Schiller. Let's see if he can finish him off. Good bat. Nope. Then we'll try Willette. Alright, there we go. It should be Ferroni done. Now we gotta get around Sergeant and kill him as fast as possible. I think he has like a, a super high defense, so he may be really hard to hit. But we'll do our best, very obviously.
is something we started it. He's got it in for me, man. 116, Jesus. One thirteen. We might as well. This is the last person we can keep track. So we have to keep checking. One oh eight. There was a gentleman I just saw on YouTube a few minutes ago, um, well, well, before I started this video, who uh, commented on the, the second video in the series saying he uh, it was the first time he'd seen anyone else talk about this game besides the authors. I'm assuming he means talking about Ten Nights of Killing and Mayhem at FJB2. This is, of course, Ten Nights of Killing and Mayhem at FJB1, which the audience never saw. So here's the problem. We can't attack him anymore. Watch. We all got to scatter and hope he comes back. Connell's going to be the weak link in this chain, unfortunately. There he is. Okay, let's get on him. Unfortunately, he's up against the wall, so we can't get everybody around him. Ah, uh, damn it, I fucked everything up. Moving too fast. get him healed while we're... We can't get everyone around him anyway, and he's hurt, so... Heal him while somebody else does the work in case we have to pull out again, and we can swap characters, you know? Damn it. Why that most powerful weapon behind us? I'm gonna get a good hit there. She's not as hurt as Willette is, so I guess we'll run Willette off to get healed. And move her in. It's gonna take a while, man, just because of his because of his high defense, we get in like best one like one one hit per round is about all we're getting. Ninety-five. Come on, baby. Damn it. Nothing. Eighty nine.
As long as he stays in punches, we're okay. I don't want him turning invisible again. I'm gonna go through that rigmarole again. Damn. We may end up trading the uh, chainsaw away from Amiot, only because Amiot doesn't have a bonus to hit. We may give it to Willette eventually, because he'll have the best chance of hitting with it. Amiot, meanwhile, has a bonus to hit with uh, missile weapons, because he was a photographer, so we figured he uh, had some degree with aiming. And I think Doke does, because I think Doke was in the, at the time, the Army Cadets. I think. Uh, maybe in the Army Reserves, I don't know, in 21 Service Battalion, I'm not sure. Uh, so we may, I think we gave him a missile, a point of missile as well. Alright, I've lost track of how much we got. Let's check it out. Down to 70. We're getting there. 64. Excellent. 56. Ah, I thought we had him. Felt like we were on a roll. I'll come up and relieve Schiller in a minute. Schiller has the least useful weapon at the moment. Come on, 18. Yeah. Or 36, if it had been a critical. I don't know if we can score a critical against this guy. His defense is so high, I don't know if it's possible. Alright, that should be a 49, I think. 45. Damn it. We need to miss this entire round, damn it. Did he, did he turn invisible? Nope. Oh, it wasn't his turn yet, that's why. I was like, why didn't he, why didn't he not say he punched somebody? Again, I've totally lost track of what he's at. 45. <sighs> yeah, it's fine. I was going to pull him out because he's weak. He's in worse shape than Schiller, but none of them are going to die before this ends. It's just a question of how fast we can do this. 38. At least I don't think they are. 30. <laughs> 26. Let's wait with him for one minute. Just to see if I could get there, I can't. That's yeah, fine. What are we at? Seventeen. As soon as I come back, look at that, he goes for me. Thirteen, I think? That'd uh, be seven. At this point, to be honest, Schiller doesn't need to heal. Obvi oh, Jesus Christ. Obviously, um... So he must have rolled 11 damage, and then it was uh, doubled for critical. Um, obviously, this guy's going to be dead before Schiller has to come back into the fray. So a wiser use for him 
is to literally run around in the hopes that he steps on a landmine and clears one out for later nights, you know? So let's run him randomly. Matter of fact, I should have done that first, just in case I accidentally kill this guy. Do it with him, too. Ah. Alright, just finish him off. If you really want to be anal about it, you can do that. Like, you can leave one guy alive and then take off and start exploring the school in the hopes of deliberately triggering landmines. But there you go. That should be it. As per the last few nights, we've done a flawless job. Same debriefing. All right, the first thing we're going to do is make sure Schiller has something to um, to use here. Let's um, let's do this. Doesn't have a ton, does he? Not even enough to do what I said I was going to do, which was get the cattle prod. So I guess we won't do that. Um, what we could do... Let's, let's look at this stuff just for a minute. Like, I don't want to get a crappy... Maybe the machine pistol's about as crappy as I want to get. Maybe a shotgun's not bad. It's two dice damage. I think the pistol does one... To, or three to nine at unlimited range. The shotgun might have a limited range. It does two dice. Machine pistol is three. I think the assault rifle is four. Um, I don't remember the rest. But I do want to make sure everybody has something. So I think what we're going to do is... You know what? First things first. Let's go to here. Oops. Let's go to Amy up. Down to the trading post. Let's trade the chainsaw to Willette. Then let's go to Willette. Trade the axe to Amiot. Then, let's go to Schiller. And I guess we're just buying him a standard melee weapon. I would have loved to have gotten something else. Let's just have one more in the mix. Let's have one more chainsaw in the mix. What the hell. And it'll be his. There you go. That's as far as we're going to take it. Let's, um, let's assume we're done for the moment. Let's leave this place. Next night we will buy some missile weapons. we got a good bounty looking at us tonight. Renu, Botos, Quaglia... Gloucester and Renyek. What do we know about them? Renyu is the easiest. He literally has one hit point, and he has no offensive abilities whatsoever. Upon spotting us, he'll run around randomly until we kill him. He's just a free bounty. So we want to get to him and get rid of him fast. Bodus has a body comprised entirely of bugs. I think he functions, if I remember correctly, he functions identically to George F., in the sense that he does damage to everybody around him. But he might do more damage... Or else he, um, or else he did it at a greater range. I don't remember. I think he does more damage than George. I think he's more dangerous than George F. I could be wrong, but yeah, his body is comprised entirely of insects. Quaglia has a weird demon living inside his ear. Um, the demon will emerge and bite you. So he gets two attacks. He gets his attack, and then he gets the demon ear attack. Gloucester was a football um, coach, so she has like football armor. She can execute a tackle attack. I think it's similar to. Elliot, and that if she can get a run, she can do it better, but she can stun you with it. I don't remember much else. And Renyek is a demoness, a nun demoness, Sister Renyek, who, um, who has wings, so she moves fast, and I think she can cause you to go insane if she hits you. That's all I remember. Let's just do the usual. Let's ready our weapons. It was a long episode, wasn't it? Um, let's go to I... Oh, he's got his axe already, because, of course, the chainsaw was in there. I traded it away, and it didn't it didn't change what was equipped. So that's fine. Let's go to... Wait. 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 Let's go... Oh, he's got his chainsaw already. I was right. Same thing. And Schiller. There you go. Chainsaw. That's it, guys. We're going to call it right there. I'll be back tomorrow with more of... Uh, well, likely, likely more of this, and likely more of um, whatever the hell we do next next. Um, if you're watching Hellband, you know that's done. It was fun while it lasted, until very bad luck um, intervened. That's it for now. I'll talk to you later. Let's uh, quit. And let's also quit to DOS. Shouldn't DOS be all capitals? I think I didn't know that at the time. Oh well.